But first, we're going to hear from Representative Kendrick Meek, who's running for Senate in a very unique race in Florida. The Democratic Trails Tea Party candidate Marco Rubio and Independent Governor Charlie Crist in recent polls and CBS News senior political producer Rob Hendon asked Meek how he plans to turn those numbers around earlier today. Take a look. Okay, we're joined now by uh, Congressman Kendrick Meek, who is the Democratic nominee for Senate in Florida. Congressman Meek, I uh, just want to start off. A lot of the polls have you down a little bit to uh, Independent Governor Charlie Crist and Republican Marco Rubio. How do you turn that around in the next 29 days? Well, we continue to work hard with a very strong message. The fact that I'm standing up for the middle class, Floridians are going to have to make a choice. If they want to go back to um, Bush era style, Dick Cheney style politics, or do they want to have someone that's going to fight for them um, to expand middle class workforce here in Florida, um, standing, up, standing up against offshore oil drilling, and um, making sure that the everyday man and woman has a voice in this process. Um, the, the other two candidates are not candidates that have a history of standing up for the middle class, but they do have a history of standing up for special interests. And that, that, that argument is going to resonate in the closing weeks of this campaign. When we first spoke, I think we, sp we spoke when Governor Chris announced he was running as independent, and you were pretty excited at the time, if I remember. Do you, what has happened? Originally, people thought that Christ and Rubio would battle for the Republican voters, but it seems like you're in a battle with Governor Christ for some of the Democrats and independents. What is happening there, and can you turn that around? Absolutely. The governor is standing on a wet paper box. I'm standing on a solid foundation of principle. Principle on the issues that I'm the only pro-choice candidate in the race. I'm the only candidate that stood against and will continue to stand against the privatization of Social Security. The only candidate that has a 100% environmental record against offshore oil drilling. Um, making sure that you can speak without blinking and without um, shuffling your feet on these issues are going to be very, very important as voters go to final rest on their decision on who they're going to vote for. I feel very strongly that I will be that candidate that will uh, win on November the 2nd. As people start to vote here on, uh, on October uh, the 18th and uh, heading to the early voting polls, we're going to see a turnaround in this race um, that people are going to vote with the person that will stand with them and not national ideology. Mm -hmm. you know, you've had some help from, the president was down there before, uh, Bill Clinton has been there, Al Gore. Do you expect uh, President Obama to come back and help you or, or what more can he and the national party do for you in the next month? Well, I can tell you they can send more resources. Um, that's what we need right now. That's what we um, are continuing to get from individuals that are going onto our website. But I look forward. I mean, we had Vice President Biden um, a, a couple of weeks ago. We had Al Gore last week. Um, President Obama and President Clinton will be back before Election Day. We look forward to continuing to make the case. The alternative is not an option. Uh, Marco Rubio wants to, and Charlie Chris wants to roll back on a prescription drug benefit that seniors have right now. They want to raise taxes on small businesses. They also want to allow lo uh, oil companies to have an open door to, to drill off the coast of Florida. I stand against all of that, and I look forward to making sure that we provide jobs for middle class workers here in the state, and we're going to continue to say that. It seems like uh, on the messaging, are you having trouble getting your message out? Do you, are outside groups hitting you? Or how, the ad wars are they playing out down there that you're being kind of inundated and unable to really get your message out we're getting our message out um, in the primary we were 10 points down we ended up winning by 26 points everyday floridians in the in the core of the people of goodwill which are the majority of floridians will come out the vote in this upcoming election my faith drives me to believe that i think it's very very important that everyone understands that i am the democratic nominee nominated by democrats in this state charlie chris walked down to the supervisor elections office became a no party affiliation candidate out of convenience versus conviction he had his chance to defeat marco rubio he opted to get out of the kitchen when it got hot I'm continuing to move forward. I'm the only person um, that can beat Marco Rubio. That's what the Mason-Dixon poll has uh, indicated. I'm going up. Charlie Chris is going down. Marco Rubio is kind of hovering at the top. And I think it's very important that everyone knows that he wants to privatize Social Security, that he wants to stand with Dick Cheney and others that are, that are sending this country back to the days when it was okay to you know, go to war. Don't worry about a, a plan of, of reason. Um, it's okay to give tax cuts to billionaires and millionaires who didn't ask for it. And on, in the final analysis, it equals the middle class paying, having to pay down the debt of the money that we've borrowed from China and India. And finally, you having, 
you have two opponents. You're the only Democrat really running at this point that has two opponents. How do you manage that? How you obviously have to go after both Mr. Rubio and Chris, but do you, how do you uh, turn that corner so you're not just took, taking out one person, you're really going after two? Well, in a three-way race, it's a better position to be in versus a two-way race. Um, needing only 37 percent to win, I think it's very, very important to know that uh, you can cover that ground very fast. Mm -hmm. um, the numbers are going to move fast like they did in the, in, the, in the primary and like they're doing now. These numbers are going to go up and down and up and down and back again before Election Day. It's important that everyday people realize what will happen in a Marco Rubio world. A world that Marco Rubio is talking about, of fixing America, using his quote, he's going to fix it so insurance companies are back in charge again. That's what Marco Rubio stands for. I stand for the people. I stand for the people having rights against these health care insurance companies. I stand for um, seniors having a prescription drug benefit. I stand for small businesses getting a tax cut that's stuck right now in the United States Senate from a guy, George Lemieux, U.S. Senator George Lemieux, appointed by Charlie Chris in the same party as Marco Rubio, did not get the kind of pressure to vote for cloture, to bring about relief to small businesses. I'm for standing with the people of the state of Florida, and that's going to resonate before Election Day. Congressman Kendrick Meek, thank you very much for joining us thank today you. on Washington Thank Unplugged. you. Thank you. Thank you.